Hey everybody, it's Josh, and uh, tomorrow is 18 months of healthy eating for me, so I'll be celebrating that tomorrow. I'll be making a uh, separate video about that tomorrow, uh, but wanted to address something today. Now, just so you guys know, my coffee maker is going in the background. Please ignore the sound. I hope it's not too annoying for you, but... Uh, just had to record this video now because now is when I have time to do it. Okay, so you guys know that I've been on this weight loss health, uh, healthy journey for the last 18 months, 18 months as of tomorrow without processed food. And you guys know I've been losing weight and so on and so forth. Um, I got some really bad news uh, two months ago. And what had happened, okay, so back in May, which is the last time I went to the doctor's office, I got on the scale and um, I confirmed that I had lost about 112 pounds. That was at the doctor's office. That was back in May. At the beginning of September, and this is where the bad news comes in, I went and got, went, weighed myself on my college campuses. They've got like a, a rec center and, you know, there's a scale in the locker room there. I went and weighed myself and saw that after three and a half months, my weight had not moved at all. I was the exact same weight I was back in May on September 1st. Um, and that messed with my head really badly. Because I've been sticking to my, my diet, my, my lifestyle. And so I was incredibly frustrated. That's why I didn't say nothing about it online. I didn't want to talk about it. And I, listen, I know you hit plat when you have a lot of weight to lose. And I've started out with almost 200 pounds to lose. When you have a lot of weight to lose, you're going to hit plateaus. But generally, plateaus don't last for three and a half or four months. So I was really pretty shocked when I stepped on the scale on September 1st, and I was the exact same weight. I was actually one pound heavier, technically, than I was back in, in May. This is why I don't own a scale, right? This is why I tell you not to own a scale, because if you step on the scale every week, you're just going to get frustrated. But I, uh, anyway, I stepped on the scale in September, around September 1st, somewhere in there, and that's what the scale told me. Now, my doctor's appointment is coming up in uh, two or three weeks. It's, I, I just see a doctor once every six months. And... So I decided to weigh myself today because in case it was bad news, I wanted to mentally prepare myself for it. Sorry, my coffee maker's done now, so that annoying sound will be you no know, will be done now. Uh I totally forgot where I was at. Um Okay, so plateaus are not supposed to last four or five months. So anyway. I decided to go and weigh myself today because I wanted to be mentally prepared because my doctor's appointment is in three weeks. If, if I had another bad, bad report as far as like my weight, I wanted to be mentally pre prepared for that, right? So I go and weigh myself today and there's really good news. And the good news is that I am back on the weight loss trail. I have lost about 12 pounds in the last uh, two months to bring me to a total of about 125 pounds off since uh, May of 2021. It's November 1st, 2022 right now. So I am back on the weight loss trail. You know, and like I said, yeah, I haven't changed my diet this entire time. So what happened was I hit a plateau. Um, generally, plateaus are not supposed to go on for three or four months. But in my case, they did. You know, that's the stuff that scares you, too, because then you start thinking. You start thinking, well, I was pre-diabetic for a long time. Have I crossed over into full diabetes and I just don't know it? Um, 
Have I developed a thyroid issue? Well, you know, what's going on with me, right? So a lot of thoughts start running through your head when you, when you know you've been living healthy and exercising and you haven't lost a single pound in four months. And you guys know me. I, I, I don't focus on the weight. I really don't. And, and you, can, you know that if you watch some of my other videos. But I do feel proud when more weight comes off. And to not have a single pound off in four months, th that messes with your head a little bit. It really does. But like I said, I was just on a long plateau. I'm back on the weight loss trail now. I've lost 12 pounds since two months ago, since September 1st. And it's November 1st now. So that's about six pounds a month. I'm back on the, basically the same projection I was before I hit this plateau. So... It's just some really good news to report, and um, and you know this is something that's been just kind of really bothering me, like this whole last three or four months. Uh, even though I don't focus on the weight, it's hard to ignore that. It's hard to ignore not losing a pound in four months. You know what I mean? It's uh, to be honest, that's quite the emotional toll that some news like that takes on you. And I'm not somebody who gets super emotional really easy, but that really kind of hit me. But I knew I was on the right track anyway, so I stuck with it. And, you know, like I said, I'm back on a weight loss trail now. That's all that's important. I've stuck with the same diet. I'm doing well. And um, so my health scare, whatever that was, or my bad news or whatever you want to call it, is basically over with. And now I can walk into the doctor's office in three weeks with some confidence that I'm, I'm back on track. Uh, I will always preach that you only have two enemies when it comes to good health, when it comes to trying to achieve good health or weight loss or anything. And those two enemies are additives and preservatives. Look at what you're buying in the grocery store. If it says anything except that particular product you're buying and salt and water, don't buy it. That's all there is to it. Do not put any additives, preservatives, or chemicals in your system. Eat food the way God intended you to eat it. If you want to flavor your food, use spices. You know, most spices are healthy. Except for like the corporate spices, like the barbecue spice and all that. But like chili spice, lemon pepper, whatever you can think of, that's all healthy. Turmeric. But, um... I feel a big weight off my shoulders today. You know what I'm saying? And so, just wanted to share that news. It's pretty good news. Now, my cash app's linked down below. Please show your love. I will talk to you guys soon. And again, uh, tomorrow, I, tomorrow is 18 months of clean and healthy eating for me. Uh, 18 months of uh, clean and healthy lifestyle. I celebrate that tomorrow. And so, I will be making a special video tomorrow. Uh, to celebrate that. So stay tuned for that. All right, that's it.